Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I've got a Dollar Tree DIY for you that I hope you're as excited about as I am. I do have my Hello Pumpkin mug that I got at Hobby Lobby for 40% off. Oh my gosh, it is wonderful. Mm, it's so big and it's microwave and dishwasher safe. Hashtag not sponsored. All right, so we are going to make a DIY with these items, the pumpkin frame, or the pumpkin, no, no, football. We're gonna use the football frame. Um, I have a few items in here that may or may not get utilized, but we have some cream colored uh, felt, a bunch of this Dollar Tree nautical rope in the brown, now, I couldn't find it, but I know they sell the nautical rope in white, but I do have this, so I'm gonna utilize, this is just very similar to the nautical rope. Um, I don't even know where I got this, but. So I'm using this, but you can use the Dollar Tree stuff. And then I'm gonna use some ribbon. It is football themed, so we're gonna use some scarlet and gray, go Bucks. Or if you don't want to make it for a uh, team, you could just use some burlap. You can also use this burlap for what I'm doing. So we have all that. Now, I do have something that was sent to me to show you. And this is from the Monvict brand, M-O-N-V-I-C-T. It's a glue gum like the one I use, but it stands up. And it does have two temperature settings, which is really nice. So low and high. But we're going to put it on setting one. It came with a dozen glue sticks and their glue sticks, this takes the big ones, not the small, but the big fatties. Came with a dozen of those. And it also came with some silicone fingertips, which was really great. I think it was like $25, um, but I like it because it stands up on its own. And I love these. That's my, my white one does that. And this is just a little bigger. Um, and it has a plug so you can you know, unplug it if you need to run some really quickly. Now, mine is battery powered as well. This one is not, just as a heads up. And like I said, this was sent to me um, for a trial, so we're gonna try it today. I don't have a whole lot of glue going on, but we're gonna glue a little bit. And that is everything. I just need to let that come to temperature. Let's reset. And again, you can use any color of anything to do this. This is where I'm coming from. But you could also use ribbon and weave through to do what I'm doing. But I'll show you. All right, so what I'm gonna do is remove the tag. And you can do this circular, but I'm choosing to do it flat. I wanna hang it or use it for a centerpiece or as a part of another wreath. But honestly, all I'm doing is feeding my rope into this end and we're gonna weave it. I'm not even gluing it yet because I needed to have some flexibility. Um, so I'm going in here. Now, if you see these are real small, I'm untwisting the rope just a tad so it gets into that corner. And then we're gonna go over, under, over, under, just a basic basket weave. And I think I'm gonna need about five of these ropes. So over, under, right? So let me show you. I have got one started just so you can see a little better. And so that's what the bottom is gonna look like, right? We're doing the over under. Now that I'm at this spot, I am gonna glue down this little tail that's in, in place, if this is hot enough. If not, I'll come back. Ooh, I don't know. Let's see, this is the first time I'm using it. All right, I got that in there. The handle, I can tell you, the handle moves pretty good. So let's see. Oh yeah. Oh guys, that comes out really well. Hmm, that's interesting. I like it. I would say it's definitely in line with the one I got at Joanne. It's a little bigger. It has larger glue sticks. And I like that the heat control. So you can make it more, you know, hot or less. But that got me a really big glob. Oops, don't touch it. I'm not burning myself because it's not, it's at that stringy temperature. But we'll leave that to cool in there. And we're gonna continue. And I, when I get to the end, I just wrap it over. 
And we're gonna go one more time across on this and then we're gonna cut it off and change it to the white. So we're, oop, we're just going uh, and it's just a basket weave. However you think you can do this the quickest, maybe sit in front of your TV. Now I do give it a good tug. I want it nice and tight. And eventually I may go back in and glue, but at this point I haven't really glued anything to the, together. There we go. And that's the last row. I'm using these vertical rows as to where to put my white. Um, oh, you need scissors. And I am going to give myself a fairly large tail. Um, to glue because I want to glue this and I want it to be very secure So we're gonna get the glue gun out again. I am enjoying this guys um, I will have to buy more hot glue for sure And then we're just gonna hold that right there and let it cool and set up Right easy peasy Lemon squeezy. I don't know where that glue came from but there, it'll take a second. So that's what my inside looks like. You could even use this, if you did everything on the outside and put this on a base, you could use it as like a bread basket or snacks or for a football game or you could put some fall stuff in it and not even call it a football, just make it like a, a tabletop vessel, if you will. But I'm making mine just like a football because I have high hopes, guys, that there'll be football this year. Ohio has determined that the kids are practicing. However, they haven't really done much other than that. All right, I'm going to do two to three rows of this white. I Obviously, I can't feed that whole thing through. So I'm just going to give myself a fair amount. Cut it off. Down here and then decide where I started I want to, or where I stopped I want to start. Now I do, before I get moving here, I do want to put a little glue here. I'm just going to attach the one end. I don't want to do them all, but I feel like I need to, just on this last little loops, just get a tad bit of glue. Okay, guys, I'm loving this glue gun. I like it because it gives you a, a good amount of glue. Just saying. All right, we are going to start on the same side that I finished. Um, just to make things easier and it also gives me a nice place to secure this white rope because I don't want it um, you know unraveling itself now the white rope is smaller and it's cotton but you just do whatever rope you can find and you know what else would work if your store has clothesline you could do that in clothesline if you can find one, especially for your sports teams. Colors or the uh, paracord would work for this. So you could do like maybe some, if you wanted to do a football team, you could do the ends in brown, some white, and then your team's color. I mean, there's really no, there's no rhyme or reason here. You do this how you want. Now, I could have went with two thickness of the white to kind of mimic but I think that would be too big but I could if you want it to go faster you can do that so here's what I'm doing I'm just going to weave it in and out under over under over now I knew I was going to have a little issue on this one side but I'll get it in there there we go and there's your first row I think three or four is going to be with these um just because I can tell already that this white is much smaller. And then we're going to just weave it. I mean, this is, it's going to be a little time consuming, but to be honest with you, it's the easiest thing you're going to do. I've seen a lot of this going on on YouTube and Pinterest, this style of weaving with the metal frames. Um, this one woman, I wish I could remember her channel, did something similar, but she cut it off here and hung them as like light sconces. 
Um, I'm not making sconces, but I am making a football that I am going to use, I think, as a wall, probably a wall hanging. So there, that feels better to me. So now I'm going to go this way. And if you want, you can take your end. You can maybe even tape off your ends. I didn't, but depends on your rope, too. So let's go. I think we'll go two more, one more time around. All right, and it's in there. Now I need that to set up, and then we're going to go back to this color, and I'm going to weave it all the way across, and we'll come back when I get over here. Okay, we got everybody up here to the white. Now see how loose that is? It's okay, it's because it's going downhill. Now what I'm gonna do, I made sure I had plenty of slack to tighten it up, but we wanna, I don't wanna do the brown into this corner. I wanna start in this corner because it's such a tight fit. And one of my little prongies popped, but I think we're gonna be okay. So I'm gonna stick this piece and untwist it a little bit, just like the other end, in here. Now, what's funny is I have a couple, uh, of, or one of the 13 foot older of these, and then now I have, um, oh wait, actually, you know what I wanna do? Start out here. And then I have the rest are nine and a half feet. So I'm using almost four but that kind of just depends on which size rope you have. So we just want to really get this in here. Now, because this one wire is broken, I'm going to glue this to that one wire. There we go. I just want the rope to hold on to that one wire that popped loose. Sorry if you're not seeing it super well. Um, but then we're going to come up and around. And the ends I'm not overly worried about. And then we're going to just weave it in and out, in and out. It's fiddly at the bottom. But once you get all of the rope in place, it will, um, it's not bad. You just want to make sure you get it kind of tight down here and really in. Ooh, you're not seeing me. I'm just weaving. Hold on, let me get this one row done and then I'll show you. I'm gonna put that right there because that's gonna get glued up there. All right, let's glue this end in place. So I'm gonna glue that just like the other end. I'm just not waiting at this point because it's frayed. So, oopsie, let us twist it and pinch it. Now watch your fingers, this glue is hot, obviously, it's a hot glue gun. And again, I'm gonna get this tightened in here. It's, I'm gonna have to take out another piece of rope, but I don't wanna waste either. And I wouldn't have a use really for this tiny piece. So while that's drying, I'm just making sure everybody's tucked in place and you just want to like pull it. And it's fiddly at first, but again, once you start getting the rest of the rope in, it's not as fiddly. Just like that. And then you just, each row, when it's down here and tight, you really want to give it a good tug. And then around, oops, sorry, around, up, under, over, under, over. There you go. And it kind of down here, it also tightens itself when it gets into that little groove. All right, so I'm gonna finish and then I'll show you when I get back up here to where it's tight, but I gotta change off my string, my rope. All right. So now what we're doing, I've got it attached. I'm at the under, we're gonna actually thread it through because I wanna get it in there really tight. So I'm underneath. I want to go over the top of this one, right? So I'm just literally just like I'm threading a needle, just like I'm threading a needle here. Give it a good tug. And what you're going to do is go in between them all. 
I'm going to use my other finger to make the hole. Now, pulling it here will help. And then here I can go over under. Because I really want to get this in here pretty tight. And pushing the white back, we're going to go over and then under this one. And I think I probably will need to go around two more times. And then I should be in there tight enough that it will push the white over to make it nice and tight in there. So on the end, I'm at the top. I'm going to feed it under and around because remember we like to loop it around. And then we're going to go here. So under, over. And we're just using the wires in the frame to take care of this for us. And now I think I have a different idea instead of doing ribbon up here, but we'll see if I can make it work. I gotta work on that and then I'll let you know. And over here, we're gonna go under and then over, right? I think, like I said, one more pass. Feed it in that hole. And the good thing is, it's rope. We're not. The only thing I did was pop my one metal by being a little rough with it. So I'll be more careful. They're fr not fragile, but they do break. And had I known that before, I would have, and you know, maybe glued it down or something. But you definitely don't want to try to get the end last. You want to start with your ends and work towards the middle. It'll just make things much easier for you. All right, I think this will be it. This is the last pass that I'll need to make. It's in here pretty tight. Oops, make sure you're on the right side of everybody. Oh, guys, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Um, the one in the middle is kind of loose, but I think, um, there we go that I can see here. I can also put the, um, what I'm gonna put on my pump or my football. Now, let me cut this. So I did use four spools and I have this much left, but remember one was 13 and a half feet. So if you're buying the nine and a half, I say exactly four of the nautical rope so I would buy five, honestly. Especially if you want to use the same rope to do a hanger and you want you don't know how you know far your white is gonna go. Those are things you have to look at. So I'm just tying that down. Now wouldn't that be a fun bowl for like a tabletop and you could put balls in it or decor? If you're gonna use it as a bowl instead of a football, I would glue your strings on the outside unless you're completely filling it knot in there oh well so here I have a knot I should have pulled tighter I didn't so I'm gonna glue it down so it doesn't come loose right in the middle of my thing so that'll take a minute to set up I just put a big ball okay for the laces I took a piece I'm using cream color felt because everything on here is just a little off-white and I literally cut out really rustic looking laces. You can be more specific with yours or eat better, but I really wanted them to look that way. And then what I'm gonna do, I just need that to set up for a second. All right, what I'm gonna do with the laces is put them across the top and you want them, I'm doing mine at a curve, like right across the tippity top. So we'll just do a touch here, a touch here. And if you get little strings, it's okay because you can just pluck them off after. But I wanna do that there. And I'm not doing it all the way down. I like it kind of. So that is a football right there. If you want to put your team name, you can do that. If you want to um, decorate it, you can do that. If you want to leave it plain, you don't even have to put the laces on. I just think they look cute. And then I'm going to hang it 
like this on my door and I, you could put like deco mesh around it you could put this in the middle of a wreath maybe I'll just set it on a table I don't know yet where I'm putting it in my house because big things are getting ready to happen but let's see what I can do to put OSU on here and there's the finished product I took some ribbon and that scarlet and gray those are the Buckeye colors and I did the ribbon and then I posted <laughs> Sorry, that's Wellington. I posted, uh, I painted the letters OSU in black. And there's your white. And then I have at the top the laces. I just love it. I'm probably going to hang it up, but I haven't decided yet. So for now, it's just going to possibly sit on my coffee table. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Bye.